Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and I don't have this prepared. Doing the flaming legs. Legs. <laughs> flaming legs. I should name my band that. Yeah, I should probably have that band name ready. The Flaming Licks. I'm reviewing the Flaming Lips right now, which is a Transmissions. What the fucking... Yeah, this is very professional, by the way. Fucking hell. Transmissions. Control something. Control Protocol? That's not what I'm looking for. This is going very well, so right now. Transmission. I'm not even sure how this album is called. Transmission. Get the smell in my fucking glass. Transmissions from the Satellite Heart. That is the album, by the way, but I'm looking. Um, you know. Which number this album is, is in, um, you know. How many they have released up until this point. From this album onward. Uh, their sixth studio album. This was released in 1993, June 22nd. Recorded between January and February in 1993, so this band has been around for a while, but I've never really heard their sound. I believe they kind of broke out in the late 90s, early 2000s. Not with uh, actual new metal or something, because that was dominating, of course, around that time, but they are more of an alternative rock band, kind of, kind of like Sonic Youth in a way, because they are kind of like... Not per se punk, but they are more like a psychedelic band with alternative rock and they have noise in their music. So, you know, I was kind of like, why why have I never heard the Flaming Lips, the Flaming Lips before, you know, before the fucking Miley Cyrus incident. And I think they've lost all credibility after since, so, you know, they, they're not really trying anymore because they don't really have anything to prove, I think. Because they... They have a lot of acclaimed albums in their discography, which I did not expect from a band that collaborates with, you know, that atrocity, you know. I was like, wait, why is this band throwing their integrity away just because of some mainstream? I will give them this. That was the first time I ever heard about the Flaming Lips. I was like, what kind of a shitty band is this? But, you know, they actually are acclaimed, so do it what you want. They are like the 50th highest ranked artist on best ever album so you know that's quite an accomplishment I, I must say especially for a noise band but you know my bloody valentine is like 30th and you know they're on there as well they're you know they're nearly in the top 20 i think almost so i mean i shouldn't say anything but i will say this my bloody valentine is the best noise band but it's still fucking noise so there you go uh, but definitely the best band to listen to if you want to listen to some noise which is kind of weird you know Noise is noise. I don't, I don't get the appeal of noise music, but I didn't give this Flaming Lips album a chance. I didn't know they were a noise band before this. I didn't know that Sonic Youth was a noise band, but they are as well. Take a listen and you will hear that. So, um, this is definitely one of the better noise bands, I would say, but I mean, I'm not really all that well versed into noise music, so I don't, I can't really say that I love the genre, but you know. I believe the first artist they did it was like Velvet Underground and like White Light White Heat, which is like a hunk of shit in my opinion, so there you go. And their other albums are not really that good as well, so yeah, do it what you will. So, this album I think is okay. Um, I just think that this is kind of a bad request from Neil Charles, by, by the way, he requested it. I do, I am gonna say this is probably a bad pick from him because I believe that Yoshima from Pink Robot Battles, something like that, and like some other other stuff which is more acclaimed. I think that would have been a better album for me to start out with because um, Neil Shells really left me on a sour note on this one because this is like one of their more obscure ones, and I'm just kind of like, why this one? Why why should I review this one? Because it's like his favorite, I think. I don't know. He, he just asked, "Hey, can you do this album?" And I was like. Yeah, sure. Well, I was like, I don't. I have a lot of other requests at the moment, but those were requested by chat. Couldn't find them anymore, so I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's do this one. So there you go. Um, overall, I'm kind of mixed on this album per se. Um, you can already look up the rating because I'm gonna spoil it now. Um, I agree with Enemy. So if you look at the rating at Wikipedia, you can spoil spoil yourself, but. If you're curious about the rating, then, um, you know, don't look it up. It kind of depends what you want, so there you go. 
This album has 11 tracks, it's 43 minutes long, it's overall pretty consistent, but this album felt like fucking uh, twice the length, so it felt like one and a half hour for me, which is not a nice thing to say, I know. Um, on Turn It On, it just sounds like the band is fucking, you know, plugging their instruments in and kind of fine tuning their instruments, which essentially... That's noise music in a fucking nutshell. The, the artist trying to figure out what tone they should play on and they never get it right so they just play on the best tone they can get. That is noise music to me. That is fucking atrocious. So, um, not saying this band is atrocious but I just fucking hate noise. So, you know, there it goes. But this band is also still alt rock and psychedelic rock which kind of makes them bearable for me but they have that noise aesthetic so there you go. Not a huge fan of that. So turn it on, just, they're literally just tuning their fucking instruments on that fucking song, so that's essentially noise music, so there you go. Yeah, I can't really say that they do anything else outside of that, like tuning their instruments and playing, you know, shitty chords, so that's kind of it, honestly. Um, they do kind of change it up with Pilot Scan at the Queer of Gobble, well, change it up, they basically just uh, turn it to 11 and then they play still, you know, um, they're still playing out of tune, so it's kind of it, honestly. Uh, kind of the same with Oma oh, Pregnant Head. Labia in the Sunlight. I have no idea what that means, but uh, this song is basically the same, but they kind of turned it up to 12, if that's possible. They, they're just blowing out your fucking eardrums, so... Yeah, I can't say I'm a fan of that, but, you know, if you like that kind of music, then uh, give this album a chance. Give this band a chance, for that matter. She Don't Use Jelly was the first single of the album after, or, uh, and then Turn It On uh, came. So I would say this is definitely kind of the most accessible, kind of easy going kind of um, Flaming Lip song. I'm actually not sure which one of my favorite, probably fucking, um, I'm not even fucking sure. Uh, yeah, I think we, we will get to a song which is probably my favorite because it has a shitload of drums on it, which is like the best thing about Flaming Lips. But this song is pretty catchy, pretty easy to the ears, not necessarily a favorite of mine because it's a bit too bland in my opinion, but I still think, you know, if you like this kind of music then definitely give it a chance. Chewing the Apple of Your Eye is a disgusting title by the way, I fucking hate the title. And then they were it. so I was like, yeah, I was just playing the album and I didn't really recognize any of these songs to be honest, or you know. I think tracks 5 through 7 were all kind of relatively the same because I didn't really... Nothing really grabbed me and everything kind of sounded the same to me. All really noisy, all really, you know, annoying and just kind of like in your face. So I think Chewing the Apple of Your Eye, Superhumans and Be My Head were all kind of the same songs, I think. I think that Chewing was a bit more um, vulgar, where Superhumans was a bit more vague. And uh, Be My Head was kind of a mixture of both, I guess. Really, really weird track. Didn't really care for either of them. It's all all alright, I think, but nothing is really amazing. Um, but I do think that the band does hit a stride for me with Moth in the Incubator. I definitely think that they're going in the right direction right now with Moth in the Incubator. I basically really like this song because there is a lot of like drum and bass work going on on this track. Uh, mostly drums and a little bit of bass, you know, through all this incoherent fucking noise. But uh, Moth is definitely a, the best track I would say because it just has a lot of catchy drums, just a lot of great drum patterns. Uh, if this track didn't have any drums it would probably be one of my least favorite but because of the drums I really like this track so definitely a favorite of mine so there you go. Never get fucking Plastic Jesus which um, it's, it's actually censored so it's just Plastic Jesus but um, you know it's all censored with stars not even you know some letters are blurred or some are you know censored but all of the letters are censored but it has like yeah i'm counting how, how many letters fucking has right now i'm done yeah you know fucking has seven letters so seven stars you can figure out what it's trying to spell but you know it's fucking it you know it's fucking fucking so there you go um, fucking Plastic Jesus, that's definitely an edgy title, I definitely fuck with this song because it's just edgy, it's just like uh, funny I think, so because of that, you know, they're still kind of in a moth incubator kind of sound, so I do fuck with this track because it's just like controversial angst, uh, angstiness for no reason, and just for fun, so I definitely fuck with this song. 
Uh, when you're 22, I hate that title. When you're 22, not when you're 22, but when you're. So just because of the title, fuck this song. And yeah, let's go with that. Fuck it. Um, I do think that slow nerf action has kind of some elements that I like, but mostly it's really, really slow. The the band kind of turns into a fucking doom band. I would almost say, almost say, but they're not heavy enough. I think. But there are some, you know, Black Sabbath-ish kind of moments I would say on this album, but not, not necessarily full-blown rip-off. Just kind of some moments that kind of sound, they sound like the band. Uh, but yeah, Slow Nerve Action was definitely kind of a, you know, really slow and kind of painful way to close the album. Not necessarily the least favorite of mine. That title would still probably go to, well, which one would be my least favorite. Yeah, probably chewing the apple if you are supreme and be my those are probably my least favorite tracks because they're, they all sound the fucking same to me so there you go oh yeah, yeah and when you're 22 that's also least favorite of mine fuck that song <laughs> but slow nerve action was okay i think that uh you know it ended on really like iconic kind of um drum crash drum cymbal so i do like that but it took a long ass time to fucking get to that iconic, iconic moment at least for me that like, like nice drum crash kind of moment and then the album ended I, th I think it had an appropriate ending but it's still you know it was a long fucking way to fucking get there but when when the album got there it was pretty nice so there you go um overall this band is kind of sucky i think they're kind of trash you can request more albums by the flaming lips they are okay to me but i fucking hate noise music so i will never pro i will probably never give them an eight or a nine because i just fucking despise the genre but um, if they do have an album that just isn't noise at all, maybe the, the Yoshima Pink Robots battle, maybe that is not noise. But I think even that album has some noise elements on it. So I think I, I will never give them like a 9 or a 10 because they have that element and I just fucking hate that. So uh, call that bias, you know, it is. Call it anything really. Oh, they have an album which is called The Soft Bulletin, which is like, I believe, their most acclaimed album. And that is just psychedelic rock art rock. So why wasn't that requested? Because my fans are fucking weird. There you go. Um, yeah, this album is kind of sucky, I think. But I can't really give it like a 4 or a 5 just because of my taste. I do have to give it, you know, can't score it like really high because I didn't really enjoy it. But at the same time, I can't really score it too low because then I would like deny, you know, the actual talents by the band. So I, I'm kind of giving it a middle score right now, probably giving it like, yeah, I would say, I would give this album a seven. I think it's okay, but it's definitely not a fair of mine because of all the noise and all the, just all the scribble, you know, all the fucking um, mumbling and shit like that. I just fucking, you know, mumbling, you know, just all the fucking noise essentially. You've heard it by now. I just hate it. So yeah, can you know that's kind of my rating, kind of middle of the road for me. Kind of a six or seven. I will give it a seven. So there you go. You know there, there were some moments that I did enjoy. So there you go. It, I would say it's a good album, but it's just not for me. That's kind of it, honestly. It is a good album. This you can call this a good band for sure, but they're not really my band. That, yeah, that, I, you know I think that's kind of perfect right there. So there you go. Um, that was the flaming lips. I've already forgot the title, something with transmissions, so there you go. Really forgettable band in my opinion, but if you like them, then let me know in the comments. Uh, what is your favorite song, favorite album? Let, let me know in the comments down below. I will see you in the next video. Like, subscribe to the channel for future live one. Let me know what you think about the band, this album. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. And I will see you in the next video. Like, subscribe if you didn't say it already, and peace.